Hello, and welcome to week, uh, I think we're up to week five now, of the Growing Roses from Seed. And I'm going to show you my updates. Um, I apologize if I don't sound as chipper as I normally do, but I just lost my cat this morning. So, I am sorry for the sadness, but um, I do still want to show you the updates for the plants. Here is my avocado, which is still growing beautifully so far as I know. There is the awesome root system that just keeps growing. Here is my, what, from the pictures that I've seen, I think this is a lemon tree. You guys might know more about it and let me know. But based on the leaf structure, and you see how it's um, it's not rigid, or it's not jagged, but it's, I don't know, it's leaf-like. But that looks like it may be a lemon tree. Here are my store-bought roses. They are blooming and beautiful. And look, I've got one, two, and three. This one hasn't opened up yet. Oh, I've got another one, four, right there. That should open up soon. Look at these beauties. So pretty. And um, and they smell gorgeous too. This one smells so sweet right here. Can I get it? Too close. But, but! more good news, as you can see, which you probably saw in the background. Look! This is what you're here for. This is the whole reason for this channel, is to show my roses from seed. Um, the light is showing them not as green as they really are. Let me see if I can get it to a point. Yeah, they're really green. Um, the stems are red. And I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I felt like I should gather up the dirt around it because the stem was getting really long and I didn't want it to suffer from falling over. Um, and I think they say that if the stem is not that big or that thick, it's because it's probably not getting enough light. But I am trying to do this with just natural light um, and I haven't had... Uh, I haven't used the lamps yet, but I do have them in my closet. But that is the first one that sprouted. And here is the second one that sprouted, and I did the same thing. It had a really, really leggy stem, so what I did was I just supported it with some more dirt. And it's the same dirt that was in the cup. I just went around and, um, what do you call it? I just, you know, pushed around the front. The other pots don't have any, um, they don't have any sprouts yet in that one. That one doesn't either. That's just some perlite. Um, but I'm still waiting. We'll see what happens. And we go over here to see my other plants. Oh, I finally have some good light today. That's good. Um, oh, better light this way. Okay, I'll try to keep the mirror out. So here is my spider plant, which is still drying out. I didn't. This is the third week I haven't watered it, and I don't know if you can see, but there's still water in here. So I really overwatered it. That was bad. But um but that should dry up soon. Um my Bothos over there and over there and my cat palm which I still have to prune. And my aloe vera. I am not going to show the uh the kitchen one today because it's there's not too much growth out of that, but um yeah. That is the week five update. And let me show you the roses one more time. Because they're growing. And that's what's making me happy. So thanks for watching.